Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Switch Pokemon Blue. You'll notice here that my name's a little bit different than it has been in the past. I use that AF script to modify it. And I have a ditto here, you'll see. The reason behind that is we're going to do the Double Distort Cool Trainer glitch. And that requires, you know, Cool Trainer. So we're going to get that right now, ditto. And I'll show you how. There's also a couple other requirements for this glitch. Having a player name that is seven characters long. It seems like the name can be a bit picky too, because the old one that I had would not work for this glitch. There might have been a couple other factors behind that, but I'm not entirely sure. All I can say is the name I have does allow it to work. This Spearow is just fine. Remember, you need a Pokemon that has at least two moves. Then we're going to switch the first move with just any other move. There we go. Then we're going to catch this Spearow. This part's not required, but I'm just doing it. I'm gonna give it a nickname. And the next thing is having a Pokemon with a particular nickname that you want. This one's gonna be double lowercase l. There he is. Now what you wanna do is come on down here. Open your item menu here. You're gonna want full heals and master balls for this. Once you do that, find a Pokemon. Any day now. <laughs> This always seems to happen. Too bad Sweet Sense not a thing in this game. Drowsy will do just fine. What you're gonna do is open up Ditto's fight menu, and wow, that happens. Alright, that should work. So my name's all over the screen, you can see. And we got some interesting effects, the TM Trainer effect from Cool Trainer. Now we're gonna switch it into the Pokemon with a nickname. Get him, LL. <laughs> and he'll be asleep. <laughs> and now I'm going to use a full heal on Ditto. Because we need to open up his fight menu again. And I'm pretty sure that gave us like the TM Trainer effect, so we'll be burned. And we'll be kind of trapped. Once you get to this point, go back in the fight menu, and you just want to either keep opening and closing it, or you can press like the select button to move it, or even press like up and down, that could work. And you're looking for a particular effect. Usually the type, where it says type cool trainer, that will change. It's not working right now. We'll give it a second. Oh, it really does not want to work. There we go. Okay, it briefly showed up there. That should be fine. Back out. We'll get this. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like a long name on screen. So you have to press a few more times. Get through the inputs. And then just catch this <laughs> this bunch of symbols, I guess. <laughs> Sprites. Which is how the game will look at it, so it'll give us an Aerodactyl. So now we have an Aerodactyl. Just like that. <laughs> And we're going to give a nickname to this, and this will be our new Pokemon. I'm going to do a double D. And then I'm pretty sure you just want to reset from there. So go on down here. Do this, and then find another battle. <laughs> and set up the, I guess, corruption again. So you want the type dragon one, and where it shows this interesting loadout here, which is pretty cool. This actually looks kind of familiar when you think of Super Glitch. Okay, there we go. Go into double D. It should be okay. If there's a problem, you can always heal with the, the full heal. Because <laughs> all you have to do now is just full heal the ditto. Oh, hurt by the poison. So I think you- oh, that's fine. I thought it was going to be weird and not let me do anything. Her brother poison. Not a problem. Go into Ditto. We're going to have very little sound at the beginning of this episode, it looks like. 
I'm going to do that again. Hopefully it won't take as long this time. See, look at that. That wasn't bad. Pretty sure that will work. It's funny. On the file that I had where it wasn't working, it said the type was cheap. <laughs> and it would not stop doing that. So I don't know if it got to a point where the game doesn't allow it to work anymore. Kind of like how Super Glitch I feel like it is sometimes. Not exactly the same. Cool. Kind of talked over that, but we got a Mewtwo that time. I didn't nickname it, which was kind of a problem. That's okay, because I'm actually just going to reload. Okay. I'll have to set up the Ditto again, but that's fine. <laughs> Transform, speed this up a little bit. Ah, oh, that's annoying. It's actually really annoying. Okay, good. Go. And then catch it, because you want to rename it. You don't have to do this, you can come prepared with whatever Pokemon you want. But I just do it for this sake. This one we're going to do uppercase ZZ. You might already know what this gives you, based off the Zazz glitch. But we're going to do it anyway. Ugh. I hate when that happens. And then open that up, then get into a battle. I'll probably show this off maybe two more times, maybe three. We'll see. Because you can actually get some really interesting stuff from this. It's pretty, high, pretty handy. Alright, open this up. Usually with this, you just press it twice. Maybe once and it will work, which is kind of nice. The other one, the second corruption, if you will, that's kind of the reason why I think it's called Double Distort Cool Trainer, because you're supposed to use it twice. Yeah, that one's a bit harder to get to work, in my experience. But it was weird because the first time I tried it, full heal, right? <laughs> first time I tried it, it actually worked like immediately. The uh, working one, if you will. Because the time where I was doing it where it was not working, I can get the distortion, I guess, corruption, like, right away, every time. But it wouldn't matter, because it wouldn't get me anywhere. But now it's, like, the working one, but it takes forever to show up. So what we're really looking for is that weird set of symbols, I guess, if you will. It's pretty characteristic for Cool Trainer, when I showed it back. Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why this is so difficult. Cause I swear, like, on the other one, it would be almost instant. Like, I'd just press it, like, once or twice, and it would come up. I, mean, I guess I'll take it since this one actually works, but you're looking at it to show up, I guess. It's just kind of a waiting game until you get that effect, I suppose. I haven't figured out if it's better to just, like, spam the button and wait for it to work, or like open and close, and just keep opening and closing, I'm not sure. Or even like trying to use it. That's what I used to do in yellow. This is probably the only annoying part of this, is it's seemingly just completely based on luck. Alright, this takes too much longer, I'm going to make a cut, because there's no sense showing this. Come on. Right there, finally. It took forever. But now we should be able to get it based off the second character at the Pokemon's nickname. Which I already said that we were using ZZ for this. And Z corresponds to index 153, which is what Bulbasaur corresponds to. That's an interesting noise. I also didn't nick nickname Bulbasaur, which is kind of silly. And I actually did something off screen that I hadn't said yet. But Hitmonchan is the Pokemon you'll get if you just flat out outright catch the Pokemon without using any nickname Pokemon. Let me wait that, I'll show you really quick. Oops. <laughs> I can actually open that in the menu. Just go in here really quick. Find a Pokemon, please. Here we go. If you just simply do this and get the corruption like that, and then I'm pretty sure if you just catch the Pokemon, you get a Hitmonchan. Speed it up. So yeah, if you wanted to get one of those, there you go. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, so I'm actually going to make a cut. 
I'm gonna show off maybe two more Pokemon. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's see another one here. I now have a Pokemon with lowercase kk. The case does matter. And I also want to say that this is very similar to like the old man glitch, essentially. It uses like the same... Like you get the Pokemon based off the character. And that's exactly what the old man glitch does. I'll give you the Pokemon that corresponds to that. But what's interesting here is I'm pretty sure it's purely the index number. And it's not affected by like the limit at 200. So we can actually get glitch Pokemon using this, which I'm going to show right after this one. I need to use a full heal on Ditto. That's very important. That's what should <laughs> That would've been silly. I mean, it would've just told me that it's already in, but still. Okay. Once again, if this becomes problematic, I'm gonna make a cut. I guess we'll see. It took forever. It was crazy. Let's get the last one. Come on, you can do it. Come on, cool trainer. Like seriously, this is actually very, very sad because with, like I said, the other setup, I would get the second corruption like right away. But you know, I'd crash afterwards. It would do its typical thing. I, mean, I shouldn't say typical, but sometimes it'll crash after using cool trainer. And I even tried going to Diglett's cave to fix that and it still wasn't getting anywhere. So I'll have to look into that more. But like with this, it's just taking forever. I think you just have to chuck it out and hope for the best. That being the case, I'm going to make a cut, so I'll see you guys once I get it. Alright, there we go. A good habit, or like strategy, I guess, that I have now, like, been using, is just spam this turbo button, and then just spam with a select button, is what I use. And you eventually get it. It's probably the best way to do it. And what's neat, as I should mention this now, is this has, like, no way of harboring your save file. I have not seen any evidence of that, so you could totally do this on Cartridge if you wanted. So KK will give us... Porygon. Pretty neat. <laughs> We're gonna nickname it this time. I won't mess it up. What's interesting is that it seems like these characters are all typical Pokemon. But I think even after... Starting at this one, everything here... Well, that's not true. Because I think it's it's one of these two that gives you Venusaur. But some of these characters give you glitch Pokemon. Which the first one I'm going to show is this. I don't think there's any distinguish yet, no. So let's do this. Whoops. So now we're going to use the... It's not lowercase x. It's like times symbol, pretty much. And then who did we get here? I don't remember. Porygon, right? Oh, this special is outrageous. I don't remember it being that high. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so let's set that up again. I can't ever seem to remember if we need to do this, but just do it anyway. And then try and find another battle. Cool. Gonna do this in speed, and I'm probably just gonna end up making a cut anyway. Just because I've already seen this for like the fifth time now. I guess we'll see. I'll do this strategy real time to show you whether it works or not. Did I mess up? No, I didn't. Forgot. <laughs> I was already ready to start spamming, but that wasn't going to happen or get us anywhere. Go back to Ditto. Now I can do that. Okay. Come on. Oh, see, that worked like right away. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> that was actually really fast. I won't complain. <laughs> it's funny. There's like two halves of this video. That's cool. So this is 9 4. And. It looks like it's a completely, like, blacked out Pokemon, because even, like, the Pokeball just is a stalled color of black. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I do want to give a nickname to this. It's interesting. I wonder what you can get with, like, Glitch Pokemon, because, like, using their normal name, I wonder if you can get other Glitch Pokemon outside of what's given to you here. Um, the only one I can really think of that's pretty cool is this one, I believe. At least I know offhand, so I'll do that. Cool. Yeah, I didn't crash there, which is nice. Usually, when that happens, flash. That's cool. Um... I don't think this is going to do anything bad. I guess we'll see. Normal coast. See, this Pokemon's really cool. I actually don't know what what that corresponded to, so I'm not really sure what this Pokemon is. I didn't look ahead of time, but it's pretty easy to find. I'll put it in the description, to put it simply. And the next Pokemon that I find, too, with this. 
I was saying something, but I don't remember what it was. I think it was the fact that a lot of the music in this beginning part of this episode is like been out and it's just gone, like basically muted. But the second half of this episode will be very noisy, so if you're looking for that, stay tuned. Alrighty. Um, I think it's okay if the sprites are inverted. I think it's possible to revert them just by doing this. Yeah, but then it's all messed up. I'm sure that's fine, but I guess we'll find out together. Um, let's get the dragon one here. I wonder if it's not going to work because of that. We'll back out and see. Because if you remember, ah, oh, dang it. This is the crabby, the crabby hero one. But it's now with this, a Kingler. Um, but if you remember from Pokemon Yellow, you actually get different stuff based on whether the sprites are inverted or not. So I wonder if that was a problem. We'll do that and reset and see if that works. If not, I will make a cut. I don't know if I want to do that though, because I don't have to. We'll see. It should work. Okay, yeah, there we go. So maybe it was because the sprites were inverted. I'm not sure. Pull you out. You have to throw in the nickname Pokemon. <laughs> cool. He didn't actually have that cool of a cry, but I'm pretty sure that can change it. He looks like a QR code, and that's pretty funny. Alrighty, and now we need to do this. <laughs> okay. Switch back into Dodo. We'll try this again, see if it works. It should. Yeah, it happened like right away again. What the heck? Why couldn't it have done that the one time? I, I was sitting there for like a minute straight. It was terrible. Throw a Master Ball, and let's see what we get here. So yeah, it's whatever that is. I'm not sure, but once again, I'll put it in the description. Oh, it turns into a Rhydon, so I have to get another one. That's kind of silly. But anyway, I hope you guys get the point now. You can use this to get a lot of uh, defense stats insane. It must be messed up, because I know Rhydon's not that slow. That's crazy. Oh, it might be a Pokemon that's similar, like... 0.4, I think, because it kind of has 0.4's kind of stats going there, from what I know. Anyway, my point was, you get you get the point here, and I'll put in the description what these Pokemon are. This was Porygon, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> what these two Pokemon were supposed to be, or are, since we know what this one is, kind of. And then I'll make a cut to the next part. See you guys there. Alrighty, this should look pretty familiar. You see I have a setup here to where I have a Ditto that transforms into a Pokemon that has Mimic that learns Swords Dance. And it already learned that from Ducks there. The Farfetch. Now I'm gonna switch into Raichu. I'm gonna hope that it uses Swords Dance once. And then I'm gonna Growl once. Recover, it's silly. If you remember this, this was the setup I used to get Jacred. So we're going to encounter Jacred again. Very briefly. And only one time. Unless for some reason it doesn't work. Okay, we get it. You can spam recover. I'll do it too. Oh my gosh. Just use Swords Dance once. Thank you. There's actually different setups you can use for this, but this is the one that I prefer right now. I'm get away. And I already have it set up, so I'm just going to fly back to the route that I escaped from the trainer, which was the Gambler by La Lavender Town. Head back to the route. By the way, if you want to do this, I recommend having Abra with you. You can also use Super Glitch to do this, but I'm going to do it this method since I mentioned it once. <laughs> so he'll throw out an M, which is pretty cool. Usually it plays a weird cry. Yeah. <laughs> There's our Bulbasaur in 153, we saw that. And then we'll get kicked out of the battle, and this weird stuff will happen. I don't remember if we saw this. Either way, I'm going to use this Abra here to teleport. And we'll see this, which I tried to show up. I thought I did. But yeah, this weird thing will happen. <laughs> then we'll return. And things are more or less normal. <laughs> Not really. Our name's messed up. We have a long party here, expanded party. And the screen's kind of messed up. But now we're going to do what I did in Pokemon Yellow, I think part 45, and head on over here. Go to the Pier 5 Protect Zone and see what we get. It's pretty interesting. As far as I know, I won't get one small effect that I got in the past, but that's okay, because it's functionally the same. Oops, got in the way. 
And I just realized I need to save a state once I get up here, so we'll have to handle that once I get up there. We're almost there. Talk to me. Oh, white magic, okay. Hopefully it helps. But in the meantime, I'm gonna save a state, give me a second. Alrighty, cool. Because I'm gonna need to come back here, because some crazy stuff's gonna go down. So, nothing fancy happens here, it just says 7 air, which is funny. Same thing with this NPC now, 7 air. <laughs> the map doesn't get all messed up, but the NPCs are still acting weird. So, they're saying 2 air. So let's go over here and see what you have to say. Now, I'd love to play this out in full, but I am going to be conscious of time and also just whether it's still entertaining or not. <laughs> Alright, we're stuck. I love these moments because it plays a really weird theme usually, and it just kind of keeps going until you press a button. I'm gonna use a little bit of speed so we can hear what this might sound like. It sounds like... I'm not even sure. Like, it's familiar for sure. Gosh, it's like right there. I think it's like the loading screen when you go to load a file, maybe? I think that's what it is. <laughs> Uh-oh. I heard a trainer battle. Sorry to start there. <laughs> Singing. Silence. Alright, let's see what happens next. Oh, wow. Okay. The game was tired of being quiet earlier, so now it's letting it all out. <laughs> Some of this is sounding familiar. Wow, that sounded cool through the headset. <laughs> Alright, I might start using a little bit of speed here. Because it sounds like I might be repeating. We're at a new one, it looks like. <laughs> I just love this so much. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this. Because I guess if it's really hated upon, I won't show it. But I definitely like including it, because it's just so funny. <laughs> to me, anyway. <laughs> Silence. It's quiet. Too quiet. Alright, time for some speed. I guess that's all we have for this NPC. There's only, like, three more to interact with. <laughs> and what's funny about that, I'll just show you now, because it, it cracked me up really hard <laughs> when it happened. Alrighty, so we'll do this again. And then we're gonna dodge that one and this one, but talk to the Pokeball. <laughs> and apparently the Pokeball wants to talk to us now. That should ring some bells right there. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. It's kind of hard to listen to. That was cool. And what's so interesting about this to me 
I said, I'm pretty sure these sounds will be different for everyone. Like, I don't know what it's based on. I'm sure you can get the same sounds in some ways. But, like, I've noticed differences between YouTubers that I've seen that had effects doing this. And the stuff I got was different. <laughs> this sounds funny. Also, it just says Z down there, which I thought was kind of cool. Da, na, na. What is that? Sounds like the cave music, maybe? Almost like... Viridian Forest. Interesting. Wow, that was an interesting cry. Sounds pretty cool. Alrighty. Let's get to a stop. I'm okay with that because I. Oh. That's kind of high pitched. That's so cool. What is this? Sounds like the game's having a stroke. <laughs> Alright, is it done? I'm okay with that, because I don't want to drag this on terribly long. Alright, it seems like we might be stuck here. Which, honestly, I'm not too against, because it's kind of funny sounding. Except for that one. That one really hurts the ears. I think we're stuck here, but that was pretty cool. And it's kind of sad, too, because if you grab this Pokeball, I don't think you can do this. So you'll actually miss out on this, too. Which is kind of interesting. <laughs> well, there's a way to, like, edit the game and just throw in more random stuff. But at that point, it's just like, why glitch in the first place? Okay, anyway. So, we're going to try and just wrap this up pretty quick here. Who do we leave for last? Let's leave you for last, because I know something that happens for her. There it is again. Is that the same as the other one? Let's find out. It might be. If it is, I will I will skip this. Yeah, that's the same. I'm gonna use a little bit of speed. Yeah, it sounds like this is the same. It's the same thing. So I guess it doesn't matter if you miss out on the Pokeball over there. I love that sound. That's so cool. I don't even know what that's from. Alright, I do know for a fact that this woman over here has something else to say. Because the first thing that happens when you talk to her is this. <laughs> is that it? Uh oh. Oh, I just played a cry, and that was it. I love that theme. It's pretty good. Uh-oh. Pressing... Interesting. Things are getting weird. <laughs> I love that so much. Hey. <laughs> Like, where is this in the game? Was this going to be used? If so, it's really cool. Gotta listen to it for a little bit more, maybe. I have no idea. 
if anyone does know, please let me know in the comments, because this is, like, actually really cool. Like, it, 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 it sounds like it might be, like, the rocket hideout, but not the entirety of it. Yeah, I think it's what it is. Which makes sense, because I, I love that theme a lot. Yeah, so I guess maybe dis disregard what I said about that, because clearly it's... I'm pretty sure that's, like, the Rocket HQ theme. Alright, things are a little bit more normal, if you will. <laughs> and normal's not the word typical is. Interesting. The prompt for, like, clicking isn't there, but I'm pretty sure it is, so if I click A, yeah, it should... It should move on. Well, I say that and it doesn't happen. Because <laughs> it was doing that at the very beginning where it was just blank, but if I pressed A, it would continue. Maybe this is it. This is the end. Oh, it's fading out. There's no more sound. Whoa, why am I looking at the screen? That's kind of eerie. <laughs> I was not expecting that, so that was kind of creepy, honestly. Because I did not do that. That happened on its own. Well, that's really all I got for you today. So we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Peace.